Hello, Ark from Recruits and Suits here, and today I'm going to show you how to install the um, Team Deathmatch mod, with, uh, which also will uh, have other game modes in the future. So, um, currently I'm uh, going to be installing version 1, but because I'm using a super easy method where I give you all the files in a nice little zip folder, um, this will work for any uh, version of the mod because I will be updating the uh, zip file whenever uh, an update is released. So, um, let's head over to this page which you will find a link to or a similar page to this uh, in the description. So you're going to want to download the file and it'll give you this nice little zip file which looks like this when opened. <coughs> so here you have two versions of WinRAR, 164-bit and 132-bit. Install whichever one uh, works for your computer. I don't know which uh, processor you have, but uh, you should. So, first we're going to install the client. Um, now, Notch is just updating to 1.5, so uh, I had some troubles re-downloading a fresh copy of Minecraft, so the mod may not work if you update the game right now um, for probably a few days, because um, Jammy Offline will have to fix the mod, but hopefully it works soon enough, and uh, so let's get started. Now I've included uh, zip folders for both client and server with and without guns because not everyone wants that but some people might um, now there's a readme for both the client and server it's really easy to follow hopefully and uh, this video will just make it even easier so um, let's go and once you've installed WinRAR you'll see all these little icons but also when you right click you want to go um, open with and WinRAR and uh, then it'll open the zip file in WinRAR. Um, do not extract it, we just want it open so we can copy the files out of it. Now go to your start menu and search for run, which is the run program and open it up. And you want to type in percent after that percent, which will open a hidden folder, um, or normally hidden folder. And you want to open .minecraft. Um, now this is all the files that Minecraft has. Um, you may not have all of these little settings file, setting files, um, but otherwise everything should be the same. And in your bin folder you have all the Minecraft files. What you want to do is you want to right click the Minecraft.jar and also open it with uh, WinRAR Archiver. Okay, there we go. And simply, we just want to drag all the files from jar files in here into here and uh, replace. So that's good. And to finish off, we want to delete the meta int folder. And there we go. So that's everything there. Make sure to um, empty the or delete the meta in folder because otherwise the old game will crash. So let's see if uh, Minecraft works. Login and it works. There we go. Um, I'm not going to show you crafting everything because that will take a bit of time but you will be able to check out uh, the Recruits and Suits spotlight of this video whenever we uh, release it, probably when the mod is out of the testing phase so we can show you the very best parts of it. So now we're going to install the server. You can uh, close this off but uh, if you install the mod with guns you're going to have to put some files in the uh, resources folder which is just for sounds, um, but I think uh, you should definitely put that in, otherwise it's going to be pretty lame. Uh, so we're going to open the server folder, and again there's with and without guns. Um, now this is a multiplayer only mod, um, clearly, because it's team deathmatch. So, um, I have my uh, 
a brand new minecraft underscore server file right here and I'm gonna open a right click mod uh, with guns open that with winner archive and then open the jar there we go and then just uh, drag in the jar files really easy and do not delete the meta in folder um, I don't know why but uh, shouldn't oh sorry don't close the second window yet because you need this teams.properties uh, file which you can edit if you want um, it just has some simple uh, properties like friendly fire, can craft helmets, all that. Um, so there we go and this has to be in the same folder as the minecraft dot or underscore server. Uh, if you're doing it with guns there's going to be some more properties files but uh, I'm just going to make a new folder and drag these two in so my desktop doesn't get cluttered with server files and then just run the server double click or do it through commands um, doesn't really matter ignore the warnings um, it's going to generate a world and should work and I'll just quickly log in to show you that uh, everything's good so it's pretty easy with this um, folder system I think it's a great way of uh, getting mods around I think developers should do it as well but you know works uh, also I'm going to be um, posting a tutorial on how to install the um, planes mod on windows um, and there already is one on uh, Mac. So, oh no, open to. Okay, there we go. And localhost, which is the same computer as you are on right now and I uh, spawn very laggy but works um, I'll go get some wool and uh, make a banner hey so I'm back and I made a crafting table and I have some wool and if I place th uh, three wool like that I get a banner so works and uh, let's try placing it Yeah, sweet. That's it's really cool. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this mod and uh, subscribe and like this video. It really helps us out and uh, warms our, uh, our hearts to know that uh, people like what uh, we do. So um, check out the other videos and uh, see you next time.